All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Argus. In the last video, we played Never Have I Ever with Cleo, and let me tell you, we ended up winning. We did get one thing wrong, but we won. We won the extra picture of Cleo, and it awesome, which is awesome. We also uh, found a way to upset Danu, and uh, <laughs> we worsened our relationship with Danu. Uh, before we get to talking to Lori Bennett, who I believe is the pathologist that we were able to get contact information from Betty's father. Um, yeah, this is where we, we got to upset Danu. Um, but we got Lori Bennett's information from Betty's father, her, his computer. We were able to distract Betty's father so that way Betty could go in there, get that information for us. But uh, also in the last video, we got our first message from Argus. And what it sounded like to me was that he said... Uh, I see you, or it said. I we really don't know what Argus is. Is a he, she? Is it? Is it somebody? Is it Scooby doing somebody that out there Scooby doing and dressing up as Argus? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if it's really Argus, and if it is really Argus, it's definitely an it because nobody knows. It's just a a freakish thousand eyed monster supposedly. But Argus did send us a message that said, I see you. We also saw uh, if you look in our media. The last video from Sarah in that video, it kind of cut scene to her saying, like, why are you on my phone? Like, you shouldn't be on my phone, which was kind of weird. Um, but now it doesn't show that once we sent it to the to the chat. It doesn't show it anymore. So without further ado, let's go ahead and chat up Lori Bennett. Let's check check out her her profile. That's that's Lori Bennett. Some more Lori Bennett. Okay. All right, let's let's go ahead and chat up Lori Bennett. Good follow her Instagram. She got notes and all that stuff. All right, Lori Bennett. Hello, Dr. Bennett. My name's Tongue Tied. My friends call me TT. I'm not sure if you're gonna be my friend yet or not, so you can call me Tongue Tied for now. <laughs> I'm a journalist and I have a few questions about Mary Kempf. Uh I'm Mary's brother and I Hope to have some information, or hope you have some information for me. I heard about the murder, and I'm worried. Um, oh, were we supposed to? We were, we were supposed to play as uh, Mary's family. That's right. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, look, I, I'm I'm Mary's brother, and I was hoping you'd have some information for me. Did did that did not trick Le Lori? She's a, she's a smart one. So you take me for a fool. I don't know who you are, but you're definitely not Mary Kemp's brother. Brother, she doesn't have a brother. I half removed from her cousin's side. That I don't know how that makes sense, but that that's what I am. <laughs> Besides, this is my personal number. You know what? I'll forward this chat history and your number to my colleagues at the CID, and then we got blocked. So that that was a complete failure. Um, that didn't work out very well for us at all. I don't know what a CID is, um, but it didn't work. She, she called us out from the get go. Here's a chat here. Should we, with Dr. Bennett, can we actually see it? We can. Interesting. I don't need to hear Danu's mouth right now. So that, 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 that's all I don't need to hear. She wants to report you to the police. Oh, DIC is the police. What a bummer. What were you thinking? Of course the police know whether Mary has a brother. Do it yourself next time, Danu. How about that? How about do it yourself next time? How about how about you do the work and I sit back and make fun of you? How about that? <laughs> Good on you, TZ. Fight back. Stop giving TZ a hard time. Go on then. What's your better idea? Yeah, Danu. You you got an idea, Danu? Danu doesn't know shit. Danu doesn't have any idea. Danu would have just asked nicely. Nobody can resist my charm. Gag me with a plastic rusted spoon. <laughs>
It gives me an idea, Lily. I figured out how to get her to tell us what she knows. Give me a few minutes. What are you planning to do? You'll find out soon enough. Danu's offline. Yeah, whatever, Danu. Can't wait. I don't think Ben believes it. <laughs> Jenny! Since a round of introductions was interrupted earlier and now we have some time, I thought I'd introduce myself to our new member too. I'm Jenny, but I'm sure you already know that. Um, I'll, as you can guess, I'm also a bit of a movie junkie. I'm third and even more into series these days. And, uh, um, oh yeah, in our movie club, I'm responsible for the stories, among other things. And my dream is to write a script for a new series one day. Something like Blacklist, like it's my absolute favorite. Do you know it? Oh, let's switch back to the chat. Blacklist. I know Black Mirror. I don't know about Blacklist. Um, but you could definitely tell Jenny it was a movie junkie. She had a little bit of Harry Potter back there, a little bit of a Demon Slayer up there. Pretty cool. I, I dig it. You write screenplays? Wow. Mm. Wow. That's so cool. You write screenplays? I actually... Kind of interested now. <laughs> kind, kind of want to know what she what she writes. I I don't. I've never heard of Blacklist though, so I do want to know what that is all about. Yeah, I don't know what Blacklist is, Lily. I'm sorry. Jenny, Alicia, and I always binge watch it together. When it's all over, you'll have to check it out. When the I, I mean I can watch it now. We can we can meet up now and I can watch it. Like, what's the hurry? <laughs> Let's hope this nightmare is over soon. Just wanted to properly introduce myself. The only ones that haven't gone yet are Danu, Ben, and Betty, right? Oh, look, I don't need to hear from Danu. I, I wouldn't mind hearing from Ben. Ben sounds and seems cool as hell. And, and Betty definitely seems cool. I like Betty, but I don't, I don't need to hear from Danu. <laughs> I'll DM you later, TT. Now is not a good time. Let's hear from Ben then. No problem, Betty. Looking forward to it. I'm excited to see you guys live. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to it, Betty. Ben, let's go. Look, forget forget Danu. We want to see more Ben. Hi. I thought I'd also send a video so you get to enjoy my beautiful appearance. Yes. <laughs> I'm Ben, and I'm kind of the leader around here. Nice to meet you. The leader. The leader, Ben. I have must have missed the election. So the, the self-appointed leader, Ben. As long as I'm your first choice, haha. -ha. I feel really welcome. You're awesome. I think Caro is the leader. <laughs> You're awesome, Ben. Look, I like Caro. I like Caro, but um, Ben's growing on me. Ben is definitely growing on me. Can we focus, please? What's taking Danu so long? Because Danu doesn't know what he's doing. That's what's taking him so long. He's taking forever. Would any of you give him a call? I, I don't want to call him. Don't, don't ask me to call him. Just check if he's okay and how much longer he needs. Pass. What about you, Car? <laughs> Ben's like, not me. Not it. <laughs> Caro, not it. You know how he is when he's stressed. TT, how about you give him a call and ask what what's taking him so look? I don't I don't want not it. I, I called I called not it before Ben called not it. 
I was the first one to call not it. He has it out for you. I know. For the sake of the content, we'll call him. Just for the sake of the actual conversation, the actual con cause so you guys can see what's going on. I don't want to actually do it. I'd rather just leave him hanging. But we'll do it. Just to annoy him. There we go. I'll do it just to annoy him. <laughs> if it's going to annoy Danu, hey, I'm your guy. Here's his number, 220592. I can't believe I actually remember that. The hell was that? I didn't like that at all. Reminded me so much of Danny. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know what phone number that was, but that was not Danu. Have you called yet? I did. Something's up with his phone. Weird voice answered. Don't know what it was. Didn't like it. Yeah, a weird voice. Can I send you the, the call log? I'll call him real quick. You're going to get right to him, I bet. I bet, I bet. I bet Carl calls and is able to talk to Danu right away. I almost got it. You didn't almost get nothing, Danu. TT, you didn't call me. I did call. Don't, don't you? You know, you could delete those. You, you it, it is possible to delete recent calls. It is possible. And Daniel's just trying to set me up. Daniel's trying to trying to make it seem like I didn't call him when I absolutely did. Maybe I should check my my sent calls. Maybe I should ch check my my recently sent calls. It'd show your name right at the top of the list. No, I didn't misdial. Mm. Whose voice was that, Danu? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ooh. Almost done. I'll call you in a sec. Whatever, Danu. No wonder you're seeing Ghost TT. You heard that Lily was messing with you earlier. <laughs> That is true. Two words. Red room. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the red room. I was just kidding. I promised TT that I wouldn't do it again. But you did. But you did do it again. I'm pretty sure you did it twice. Didn't you? You, you messed with me twice. Red room wasn't that creepy. Everything is scary enough as it is. I got to admit the red room was impressive. Scared the crap. Look, I, I'm not. I don't get scared. Like it wasn't even that creepy. Wasn't even scary. Like didn't get me at all. Oh, it worsened worse in my relationship with Lily. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it worse in the relationship with Lily. Danny's calling. All right, I'm back. This costume combined with my acting skills, she'll believe I'm a detective. Nobody would believe that. And the icing on the cake. It's perfect. What do you think? No detective is going to have tactical police badge on there. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe that. Ben says, am I understanding correctly? You want to pretend to be a cop to get information from Dr. Bennett? Why not? Have you seen the music video for the song YMCA? <laughs> It, look, it's it, there's no way it's gonna work. There's no worse in my relationship with Danu again. Anything, anything I can do to worsen my relationship with Danu, that's happening. Ben says I was kidding. I don't think it's that bad of an idea. But what's the deal with the cheap Halloween costume? First of all, this isn't a Halloween costume, and second, I wore it as a film extra, so it's it's already worked once. Sure. W w okay. What about the crooked? terrible fake mustache. Carlos says, I, I'd give it a 95% chance that this fails. 
<laughs> Look, I'm with Carl on that, but I probably bump it up to a, a, like 99%. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say 100% because there are some silly people out there that probably believe it, but 99% of the people out there not believing it's good. Danu is a police officer for sure, for sure. But if you want to try Danu, just put on a suit or something, that'll do. And for God's sake, don't wear the fake mustache. <laughs> How creative. I was just kidding about the mustache. Okay. Wait a minute. What was he? Betty. Betty. Let's talk to Betty. All Danu figures out this ridiculous police outfit. Hi, TT. I'm sorry for being a, an ass earlier. It's all right, Betty. Oh, and please excuse my language. It, look, it's all it's all good, Betty. As promised, I'd also like to briefly introduce myself. Now that we'll be working together for a bit, it's only fair that you get to know me a little better. I'll give you a call. Yes. Let's hear it, Betty. Huh? What is there to say about me? I'm Betty, and I love movies. It's not just a hobby. It's medicine art and love all in one <sighs> you should know that my mom passed away a few years ago <sighs> it's hard to talk about <laughs> my father changed after she died <laughs> damn smoke detector he's been so I don't know. So cold to me ever since. Sometimes I feel like he blames me for everything. He left me alone when I came. But anyway, <laughs> my mom loves movies too. She loves her classics by Hitchcock, and she's a big fan of Bogart. <laughs> um, after she died, I would go lock myself in my room every night and watch her old DVDs. Me just lying down in my bed and watching my mom's movies makes me feel like I'm close to her. That was my way of dealing with grief. That's also how I develop my enthusiasm and love for movies. Oh, man, <laughs> that really got me. Um, can we keep talking in the chat, please? So Betty is definitely, uh... For a lack of better words, uh, Betty's very, I don't, I don't even want to say damaged because Betty's not damaged, but very just hurt. Like she, she had, she had a lot of trouble, you know, mom passed away. Like that's going to, that's going to kill anybody. Right. So, um, so B Betty's got a, got a difficult backstory. So I can understand how she's able to find love through, through the movies and, and, um, it, 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 like she's she, like she mentioned it's a way for her to kind of like escape the reality of things which i feel like a lot of people would do a lot of people are, use movies tv shows video games hobbies they they use that as a way to escape you know the shits that is reality <laughs> you know it's, it just is what it is um but yeah, you know, everyone, everyone does it. Everyone uses it as a, as a coping mechanism and, you know, I, I get it. I get it. But yeah, we could definitely talk more in, in chat, Betty. I do. I, I'm definitely digging Betty, mm -hmm. loving Betty. Uh, but th thank you for telling me about it all, Betty. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your mom. That's a sad. Life can end unexpectedly. And it can be. Yeah, it's very unexpected. But I don't want any sympathy, TT. I just wanted you to know why I was a bit harsh earlier. 
when we were talking about my dad. Is there anything else you want to know? Premium chat option we have. I do have one more personal mm-hmm. question. Did you really have to identify Sarah's body? Oh, that'd be tough for anybody too. Uh, what hobbies do you have other than movies? And uh, woo, we going straight to the nitty gritty. You single? You single, Betty? You diff- <laughs> I see. I want to. I kind of want to know if she has any other hobbies. I feel like that's a good question to ask. I don't really want to ask her and, and make her relive identifying Sarah's body. I feel like that's kind of traumatizing. But I do kind of want to ask her about the about the hobbies. Like, that sounds like a good question to get to know somebody. But, like, I'm just going to be, like, sitting here be like, yo, Betty, you single? Like, <laughs> let's, I'm at, I feel like, I feel like most the the players probably asked how many, or, like, any other hobbies other than movies. So, I'm asking Betty, yo, Betty, you single? <laughs> we we trying to we trying to bump up the future ex wives numbers. Uh, you want to you, you you trying to trying to do that? Like <laughs> this question can only come from a guy. <laughs> yes, I'm single. Oh, Danu, you ruined it, Danu. Damn, Jim ruined it. All right, I'm back. To be honest, I like the police costume better, but what can I say? Works, doesn't it? Fox Mulder? I'd, I'd say that does look better than the police costume. Looks more detective-ish. Um, yes, I'm single. Just, just split up, actually. But for now, let's concentrate on the murders and Mary. So recently, recently broken up. Interesting. Carl says, your plan is either absolute madness or genius. Probably absolute madness. I don't think Danu is going to do it. And if he does, I'm not going to be happy. (laughs) I don't quite understand the plan. It can also get you into a lot of trouble. Kind of bold. I think it'll work. Um... (sighs) What is going to upset Danu the most? (laughs) I don't think I want to say I don't understand a plan because that's going to make it look like I'm stupid. And we all know that Danu is stupid. We don't want Danu thinking that I'm stupid. So I'm just going to be like, look, kind of bold, kind of bold, Danu, to think that it's going to work. Ben said nothing. What What did Ben say? Absolutely nothing. Guys, I'm an actor. I'll introduce myself as a new member of the Homicide Squad. Bennett will believe me. It always works on Supernatural. (laughs) That series is fiction. Since when do you get your panties in a bunch, Ben? That's not like you. And if Bennett doesn't believe me, I'll quickly disappear. Lily says it's a little risky. If anyone can do it, though, it's Danu. And Betty's like, you know what, Danu, you want to get yourself arrested by impersonating a, a, a police officer or a detective? Go ahead. Give it a go. Thanks, girls and Ben. Just trust me, okay? I'll let you know when I arrive at the forensics department. I can't see it happening. There, 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 there's no way, right? There's no way. Jenny what now what will the rest of us do I guess we just hang out and just talk and get to know each other better (laughs) I have written to the youtuber who first reported Mary's death just like you wanted me to TT yes And, and would you find out did she answer you straight away what did you ask her it was only a suggestion did she respond back to you did she say anything to you Yes, I was lucky she was online. Just a sec, I recorded a video for you. Ooh, we got a video. 
Franka. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fan of your... That was creepy. That, that was, that was creepy. Does it do it again? like there uh, I think and, and so I think what Ben was saying was um, I'm a huge fan of YouTube and uh, really enjoy your videos but we didn't really see much after that um, what do I got to do I, I clicked on the video can I say anything click on the video again Um, I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, it's, it's working now. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fan of yours. Your videos are so cool. Especially the one about Argus. And then Frankie. Hi there. Thanks. Appreciate it. Tell me, did your friend really see Argus? And did she involve the police? Yes, she did. I'm freaking scared of Argus, but I envy her a little. Must be quite the experience. I just spoke to her on the phone. She told the police everything, but they didn't believe her. They say it was someone in a costume. Argus is real. They have to take this seriously before more happens. Is it so unlikely it was a costume? What? Oh, Frank is going to get pissed. My friend is 100% sure that th this creature wasn't human. All the glowing eyes, it was huge. Well, you're a denier too. I can tell. Wake up. Okay, Frank, I got a little upset. I mean, we just asked a simple question. Get a little upset. You sounded, sounded kind of sus, Franka. A little, little sus there, Franka. Just saying. Don't... Don't, don't sound so sus. <laughs> it's totally insane. Doesn't really sound like a costume. There's no important information. Where did you get her number? Um, yeah, it's pretty insane. Doesn't really sound like a costume, but it also kind of does. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Not really any important information there, but um, look, it's mm -hmm. that, that, that's damn totally insane. Crazy. So what do we do now? I mean, until Danu has new information, I'd like to find out more about Mary. We don't know whether it was the same perpetrator. But it would be interesting to know whether Mary and Sarah knew each other and whether there's a connection to the other victims or to Argus in general. But how? We would have to contact her family. Ben, I have a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> we know of one connection between Sarah and Mary. According to the newspaper, they went to the same uni. So what? That was years ago. Besides, Jenny and I were there too. Yes, but I'm actually getting at something else. Sarah worked for the student newspaper, remember? And that gave her access to the university server. <laughs> at least she was... Uh, at least... That's what she always said. The server contains the addresses of all students. Ben, you're a genius. I do what I can. Hey, way, way better of a, an idea than Danu's idea. I, I will say that. Ben, Ben's, Ben's definitely using the big, big brain. Ben's using the big brain strat. That's for sure. I've already looked up the page. I need a username and a password. Don't quite get it yet. <laughs> Can anyone else log in there? How does this help us if Sarah had access? Oh, it looks like I might be able to uh, to to hack in and get some information for the username and password. I bet I bet I have to do some more of those little hacking games. But can anyone else log in? Is that a possibility? Nope. The uni newspaper was too nerdy for me. <laughs> Jenny can't either. But. 
Sarah was super bad at remembering passwords. As far as that was concerned, her brain was like a sieve. Don't know what a sieve is. Uh, she wrote down all, all the access data on her phone. Now that you have her profile, TT, maybe you could have a look and find the password? I, f I feel like that would be a genius idea, and I feel like I'd be very, very good at doing that. Uh, <laughs> but he says exactly, the username should be should be clear. The only thing missing is the password. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll, I'll look for the password. I'll, 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 I'll look for it, and I'll find it, because I'm a damn genius. Me, me and Ben, we got big, big, big brains. We use the big brain strats. Here we go. So maybe our profile here. We got radar. We got movie diary. Notes. Newspaper. Maybe a username is Sarah Stiller. Topics, ideas, blah, blah, blah. Newspaper 2. Password. Cinnamombies forever. I'm a genius. Figured it out. Damn, knew it. Found it. Oh, I got to type it out. Sin. Mom. Bees. Forever. I think that's what it was. Oh, I don't want to get it wrong, though. Let me just double check. Let me just. <laughs> let me just double check. Sin. Mom. Bees. Forever. Okay. Cap. Capital C, probably. Let me just make sure. Okay. Cinnamon bees forever. Easy. 100%. Mm. And I definitely didn't spell it wrong. I was able to log in. Awesome, TT. I'm a damn genius. Me and Ben, we we super smart. Danu, not so much. I'm just a bit. <laughs> what would we do without you? I don't know. You'd be lost. You'd be lost without me. That's for sure. I'll see if I can find Mary Kempf now. Thanks, Betty. We're really making good progress. Hell yeah. It's looking good. Mary is still in the system. And there's Mary Kempf. 21. Bachelor's degree, biology, straight A student. Let's go. She looks so nice. It's hard to believe she's dead. <laughs> also true. Um, then we have her address. As this definitely the person we're looking for. Look, <laughs> look she looks super nice. It's, it's hard to believe that she's Jim dead. Although we didn't know her. It really gets to you. We've got to catch the murderer. We can't let anyone else get their future stolen. Lily says, I just spoke to Alicia. We'd like to speak to Mary's relatives. We want to be more involved. No more sitting around. I like it. You have a knack for it for sure. Should someone else do it? Look, I, do it. I like it. I think Lily and Alicia would be would be fine at it. Um, far better than, like, myself, for example. Like, if I was to go to their house. Look, I didn't even go to school with Mary. I just want to talk to you about her death. Like, it, that doesn't sound good. It doesn't roll off the tongue very well. But I feel like if Alicia and Lily do it, like, like they'd be like, I went to school with her. She was super nice. She was friendly, blah, blah, blah. Even if they didn't know her. Who knows? I've sent you both the address. Please be respectful and show sympathy. Exactly. You can be honest with them. Just tell her we've been in a similar situation and we have a file ready for repair. Uh, just tell her we've been in a similar situation and we'd like to help find Mary's killer. Yes, of course, we'll, we'll manage. We'll be in touch as soon as we get there. Very interesting. So we have a new file that we can repair. And... Um, you know what? I'll 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 be repairing the file, and you know I heard from I, I saw in chat, not chat. I saw in the comments, and uh, one of you said that you you want to see me do one of the last stars, like you want to see me do like number star like collect star number twelve. 
So I'll do that. I'll record myself first trying star number 12 in the next video, though. Not not this video, not this video, but <laughs> in the next video, we will we will repair another file from Sarah's phone. Hope you guys have been enjoying Argus as much as I am. And um, it's 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 interesting. It's very interesting. There's a lot of information here. Um, nothing really too much on Argus yet. Not really. I mean, there isn't even really any kind of information whether it's going to be an actual human Scooby doing it or if it's an actual like Argus, the real Argus thing. Franca definitely thinks that Argus is real, even though Franca, it's all hearsay. Franca just was talking about hearing about it from her friend. And just believes her friend. Frank is super sus. I don't know. I, I I don't know how else to put it. Dan, who's out here impersonating a police officer or detective or whatever. And I don't know. I think if he would have stuck with the police costume, like it would not have worked. He'd be in jail. He'd be he'd be locked up for impersonating a police officer for sure. And he still might. He still might get in super amount huge trouble. Huge trouble for it, but we'll see. We'll see if Dano can pull through. He probably won't be able to. I don't know. Me and Ben, as long as I got Ben on my side, like me and Ben are gonna be able to figure this out. We we're super smart. We can we you know as long as we're working together, we'll figure out who Argus really is, and we'll save as many people as possible. I might not try that hard to save Dano. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying Argus. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And join the Tethered as always. Thanks for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.